Hey you, yes, you, I'd like to tell you about an exciting opportunity. Okay, for real though, something dawned on me last year that I really want to share with you all because it really radically changed something about how I perceive the flow arts. Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, I want to talk with you a bit about why I think there's a very big reason why we should get more people creating flow arts content. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all of these amazing businesses and what they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I have down in the description of this video. And special thanks to non-business friends of the channel, Johnny Howard, Lane Wachinski, and Pekka Pekunen. Thank you so very much for your support for my work and my mission. So, there is a really, really important statistic that I came across last year that was kind of a Keanu Reeves, whoa, moment for me. And it has to do with the size of the community and who the community is made up of. For reasons I won't go into right now, I set down a goal of reaching 35,000 subscribers on Instagram. Happy to say I actually made that goal last week, but that wasn't the whoa moment. It was what that number told me. In the last quarter of 2021, I was climbing that hill from 34,000 subs to 35,000 subs, and I happened to drop into Poi Chat one day. Stick with me here. Y'all know how many people there are in Poi Chat? As I'm writing this script, the number is 33,000. As of right now, I have 35,000 subs, and there are 33,000 in Poi Chat. In other words, my audience on Instagram is bigger than the entirety of Poi Chat. And my YouTube, as of this writing, I'm at over 88,000 subs, more than double the number of people in Poi Chat. So what am I saying here, that I'm more important or influential than Poi Chat? No, not at all. Poi Chat itself is not the point. I think a lot of people who are on Poi Chat see it as representative of the bigger community. It is, after all, the single largest flow arts group on Facebook. This is the place you want to go to get noticed, to connect with other people, or to put your finger on the pulse of the Poi world. And yet, it's a place that has fewer participants than tune in for my videos on YouTube and Instagram, and I'm not even the most popular Poi spinner on either platform. Poi and the flow arts are much bigger than we think they are. Think of it this way. There is a Venn diagram of people who follow my work online and people that are in Poi Chat. Those two groups do overlap, but they clearly can't do so completely. That suggests that there's a broader world of Poi spinners in general that has to be larger than both Poi Chat as well as the audiences for my channels. And that's not all. This may come as a shock to some of you out there, but I am not everyone's cup of tea. In fact, near as I can tell, there are people out there that passionately loathe both me and the content that I create. And they also spend poi. So whose content do they watch? There's a bunch of candidates out there, but I have a suggestion. Why not yours? Think that's such a strange suggestion? I don't. I know a lot of people who don't get into creating content because they think there's nothing left to be done. There's no shortage of tutorials out there or influential poi spinners who've cultivated massive followings. You're getting started years after they've developed their brand, so what else is there for you to do? Believe it or not, I used to ask myself the same question. Nick Woolsey started his channel before I did, so I avoided making my own tutorials for years because I kind of reasoned that Nick's were so good, what exactly did I have to contribute to the conversation? And then I ran into a problem. After I quit my traditional job, I started booking workshop dates in other cities, and without a doubt, the most common question I got about them was, do you know how to teach beginners? Seems silly in retrospect, right? And it surely did to me at the time too, but then one such person put together some pieces for me, and I quickly realized that I'd created a branding problem for myself. At the time, everyone knew me for my tech blog, a weekly video series in which I showed off the most recent tricks I was playing with or ideas that I'd come up with. It definitely established my bona fides as a mover and shaker in the tech poise scene, but the vast majority of it also went straight over a lot of people's heads. So with this knowledge, I undertook making my first ever tutorials. First with a series on learning how to do real turns, and then later on how to do poi flowers and several one-off tutorials on things like weaves and the like. And they took off. They became the most popular content on my channel. Wait, hold up, how is that possible? Nick already had all these resources out there. Why would someone bother to learn from me? Different people, 
learn different ways. And a lot of people learn best from the people that they feel like they have a personal connection to. My tutorials became popular because my style of teaching was what some people were looking for. It connected deeply with them. Sometimes you watch a tutorial from one creator and it doesn't quite connect the dots. Then you watch another one from a different creator and boom! There was the perfect description or demonstration that made it click. And you know what? There are tons of people out there that don't learn well from either my videos or from Nick's videos. There are plenty of people out there who've never found the person that they connect with. So what if you're that person for them? I think that I connected with people who like to intellectualize the things that they do. They like to understand the theory behind why a thing works the way it does, and they want detailed visuals of the thing being performed. But I've totally had people come into my classes who did not connect with my teaching style at all for a variety of reasons. And my guess is that there are a lot of them out there. Again, there are 33,000 people in Poi Chat, and not all of them follow me. I have more than 100,000 subscribers across different platforms. So we're really only seeing the tip of the iceberg here. There are huge potential audiences out there for new creators if you create the content that they're looking for and will connect with. People are out there waiting for new people to connect with. I swear they are, and these numbers brought home to me just how many of them there must be out there. I don't think we have a good way right now to measure how big in total the poise spinning or broader flow arts world is. Maybe you can help us figure that out, or even better, help us grow it. If you're interested in being a part of something larger, there's never been a better time than now. I would imagine that a bunch of you out there have actually thought about starting a channel and have been inspired by me in the same way that I was inspired by Nick. So what's keeping you from doing it? What are your doubts? What are your questions? What do you need help with? Leave me a comment and let me know, and maybe I can help. Did you get anything out of this video? If so, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to keep the conversation going and to help my channel grow. This video would not be possible if it were not for the wonderful support of all of these amazing people right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon, and they, along with the people listed down in the description, help to make this video and all the videos on my channel possible. Thank you one and all for your support. Do you like my videos? Do you like my flow sessions, vlogs, reviews, combos, and more? I'm on a mission to bring poise spinning and flow arts to the wider world and help people connect with their brains and their bodies. So help me do it. Head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You can do that at the link in the description or the card that just popped up if you're watching on YouTube. There you can get access to a whole host of rewards and help me along in my mission. Do check that out please and thank you. Are you interested in creating content but don't really know where to start? I have a playlist of videos I've done to hopefully inspire yourself and others that I'll link to down in the description or up on screen if you're watching on YouTube. Make sure to get outside to flow today and I'll see you with a new video on Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching and have a good one. Peace.